Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. I'm uh, back on the Kawasaki Mule. I'm trying to turn this thing into a roller as quickly as I possibly can. So, I'm building the engine transaxle cradle. This morning I went out and I bought heavier stock. The thickness is thicker. Those, those are a few pieces. Plus this piece, right? I don't know, it's about 42 inches long. And those two pieces are 48. All right, these, that one and that one are 48. And then it's uh, 17. Um, the piece in the middle is 17. And then that makes it 20 inches, right? I ended up going with inch and a half squared tubing. Um, and the guy at the steel place sold me all of this for uh, 20 bucks. Um, I, I have to tell you, that Lincoln, that one's not great, but look at look at that weld. I'm using the um, the Lincoln Weld Pack 100 um, flux core um, wire. I, I gotta say, it's doing. You gotta love it. So this is as far as I've gotten. And you can see it's uh, it's looking it's looking halfway decent. I cut these here at a 45, and I'm going to um, cap the end. Right, one doesn't want mice and everything living in here, um, or one really doesn't want it to fill up with material that could rust, and then your tubing goes to heck real quick. Right, you don't want to hold moisture and everything else in there. That's about the height it's going to be. So just for a ground clearance, I'm going to have eight, ten inches. Yeah, I'm going to have about nine inches of ground clearance, a little more than that, uh, with this size tires on it. Um, so it's it's coming along well. I had to like use every puller known to man to get this off. Um, first, you have to put a couple of bolts through the outer pulley, right? And then use a puller to tighten up and push the shaft back through. After you do that, then to get this one loose, right, I had to use a, um, a giant pole to grab the outside. And then to take the last one off, I had to use the next size up puller the, to pull the, um, this hub off. Right. This hub is all the way, is all the way in. Trick is to have steering steering wheel pullers and adjustable pullers and claw pullers because it literally one wouldn't have done it. It took all of them. The little bit of a battle I am having here is I think I think I already cut it. I think it's this one. Yeah. This one's going to be welded across the rails like that back guy is. And that's going to support the front of the motor. So there's no issue there. The problem with supporting the back of the motor, right, I can't run this over here because it's going to have trouble with the torque converter. So, um, I think... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a good size plate 
and I'm going to run one about half, it's probably going to be around here somewhere, and then I'm going to have to pick it up with angle iron, right? So basically, there's going to be no square here, and as a matter of fact, I might even have to cut out part of the angle iron for this, and then I'll have the rest of the angle iron. So there might be a spot where, I mean, I'm this isn't basically going to go completely across. It is going to be welded here. There'll be a piece. The other side will be welded. And then the center might be supported by just a band of this angle iron. So I'm, I'm thinking that that, should, that and the plate on top should give me enough strength uh, to hold everything up. Um, this appears to be a three-quarter inch shaft. I, um, ordered, I think, I think this is a 12, and I think I ordered a 12, or this is a 10, and I ordered a 12, or this is a 12, and I ordered a 14. I, I think they're both 12s. Um, So that'll um, that that'll that'll get me a hook up here. I am gonna have to cut a keyway. I'm gonna have to cut one of those in here. I'm just gonna take the grinder and very carefully cut a keyway in for the um, for that to go. And then I'm gonna chain drive it. And then once again, if I want to change the gear ratio, I could just get bigger back here. Um. Your typical golf cart, you know, sometimes we feel like we're flying on them. But most of them, I, I think, are governed down to, like, less than 15 miles per hour. So with this whole rig, this whole setup, this thing might be a little a little more than that. Um, golf cart motors also, well, they have governors on them, which really hold them back. But I'm... I'm Figuring this thing will be good for a little less than 20 miles per hour. So I'm thinking the um, this six and a half Predator should should get me going. Shoot some of this a little bit at a distance. Um, for those of you who are following and saying, "Boy, this is taking forever," um, I'm I'm sorry about that. But there are people who try to um, do a little bit more you know, step by step, follow along, and they want the details of what size is the tubing and, you know, what are you doing. And it's also important for once it's all put together, if I'm out riding it and it bends or whatever, you know, I could, you can refer back and go, well, he used inch and a, inch and a half tubing that thick walled inch and a half stuff and it, it didn't hold up very well from the looks of it though and moving it around and um you know basically having a uh, almost an eight foot section and standing it on one end and kind of kind of putting some weight on it and all it didn't flex at all so i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking it uh it, it it'll be fine so that's as far as I've uh, I've gotten for today. I gotta clean up. Made a nice big mess. Seems that I've uh, completely undone everything. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please keep your suggestions coming. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.